welcome back to another episode of Angel's Craft Closet. Today I am making a very easy Halloween card, um, again using the Fisker's texture plate uh, to make the little spider web on the front. And I stamped an image on the inside. So let's get started. I am using a basic black cardstock base of uh, five and a half inches by eight and a half inches, scored at four and a quarter. I have a pumpkin pie base at four by five and a quarter inches. I'm using a whisper white piece of cardstock embossed with the fixtures webbing texture plate at three and three quarters inches by five inches and two smaller pieces on the inside at two and a half inches by one inch for the whisper white and two and three quarters by one and a quarter for the pumpkin pie and I'm using these small black spiders which uh, we found in confetti uh, from my local discount store and also some ribbon from the discount store. I'm using a Happy Halloween stamp from the Stampin' Up! Teeny Tiny Wishes set. It's really a great stamp set because there is a sentiment for just about every occasion. And it's good to have them all in one place. So I'm going to start off with the black cardstock base and fold it at the score line. I'm using a bone folder just to keep it flat. So my next step was to emboss the white piece. Um, I again embossed it using the fixtures te texture plate. Um, it was the webbing plate. I ran it through my color bug using the A plate, the texture plate layering the cardstock, and then using a silicone spellbinders mat, and then using the C plate on top of that. So I just tied the spider web ribbon around the white piece of cardstock. And hopefully you won't be able to tell too much in the editing that it maybe took me more than one try to get the ribbon right. The trick is to try to twist it when you are uh, making the knot so that it lies flat with the pattern side up. Easier said than done, but it is possible. Now I'm just trimming the edges at an angle with my paper snips. And the next step is to take the white piece and attach it to the piece of pumpkin pie. I'm just using my Blue Glider Pro. Love that thing. And then once I have the white piece attached to um, the orange base, I'm going to take that and attach it to the black card base. And next I'm going to use small mini glue dots to attach the spider confetti to the white webbing background. Uh, the mini dots work great uh, just because they pop it up just a little bit off of the card. Now I am not a fan of spiders but for some reason I keep making projects with uh, this spider web um, texture and ribbon. So I guess if they're not real and not moving I'm okay with it. So for the inside of the card, I am using the Happy Halloween stamp. I am stamping it in black stays on ink on the piece of white cardstock. So I'm just attaching that piece of white cardstock and going to stamp onto the orange base and then adding my sentiment. And for an additional touch, I am adding one more piece of the black spider confetti just to add a little bit of interest to the inside of the card. If I can find the glue dot. So there it is for the inside. I'm just going to attach that with some adhesive to the inside of the card. Normally I don't add sentiments uh, to the inside of my card to keep them on the outside, but I thought this needed a little oomph on the inside as I was not adding an, ad 
additional piece um, of white cardstock uh, to write on. So there is a very easy card. Um, I am going to use a white gel pen to write on the inside. And there you have it. Thank you very much for joining me today. Please feel free to visit me at my blog at angelscraftcloset.blogspot.com. Have a wonderful day.